This is Atlas on Xbox One X. Okay, so in Atlas, we have a couple different options. There's join an online game, there are tutorials, or there is a single player slash host. So this is kind of the options here. This is basically a reskinned version of Ark, but they've done pirate style stuff. So this is really cool. You can do general, or you can do advanced, and you get all these options for customized, customizing every aspect of the experience. And it doesn't actually work. So you can do Ocean Blackwood, you can do single player, you can also not dedicated, which is like a local game for you and your friends. But I say it doesn't work because it crashes every single time. I tried multiple different options and tweaks to the formula, and so did my friend, and neither of us could play that mode. So you have to join an online game right now. Keep in mind this is an Xbox game preview. So it is likely to get improved or changed over time, but yeah. It's kind of super rough, and we're going to jump in here, so there's PvP or PV. PvP is when you're fighting against one another. PV is a friendly situation against the monsters. So then you're able to actually create a new Pathfinder or respawn. Okay, here we go. Here's the menu, so you can make a male or female character. And you can do a couple different things in regards to customizing how they look. If you played Ark, this should be you know, very familiar to you in just terms of like the customization options that are present um, within the game. So you can change like the hair length and stuff like that. It's actually kind of an intuitive uh, customizer when you think about it. So I definitely got to give that to them. You can also do random, you know, you can do random characters, whatever you want. So that option's there. And then you get to pick uh, kind of the spawn region that you want to go to, so I guess we're going to do that one, because I don't really see anything else. Uh, we're going to call ourselves Yar. So this is Atlas. We are on Xbox One X, as mentioned. It doesn't note that it's enhanced, but it supports HDR, which I believe is kind of uh, part of being enhanced, so I don't know if that's going to just maybe come in later. If you've played Ark in the past, you can tell that this is basically a reskinned version of the game, and... You know, it's, it's kind of alright, I suppose, in the sense that they turned this into a pirate adventure. So building on the visual options, as you can see, there is a spot here for graphics, so you can actually change the V-Sync mode. And, yeah, it was running really bad the other night, so I don't know if we're going to have similar issues today. It seems to be running a little bit better, uh, which is odd. Maybe the servers were more intense, but we'll, we'll see as we're walking around here. So this is a survival game. Uh, but it is pirate themed, so you can build a ship, and you can go out there, and you can sail the seven seas with your friends, and whatever like that. It does feature a permadeath system, you can get like spawn points, but that's kind of what the general gist of it is. So being a survival game, you actually have to go out there and survive. Like you see that guy's got tools, oh he's gonna get chased by that giant thing, that's great. Uh, so you can go out and like punch trees to collect wood, or you can collect wood off the ground uh, in order to get materials and then you can build houses and then ships and there's a whole skill tree you gotta watch out if it's too warm if it's too cold your character will like you know freeze to death or they'll you know overheat you can also swim in the game and they like fully go into the waters which is really neat and it's just kinda like a full environment but yeah it's not really anything too pretty to look at is the giant beast fighting him right now I can't tell yeah, there we go. That's the screen tearing and stuff I was looking at. Yeah, I was trying to play this with my buddy the other night, and it was just, like, straight up, like, vomit-inducing. We had to leave after a few minutes just because it was, like, way too bad. Um, but, yeah, so uh, aside from that, it does have cross-play with the PC, which is kind of cool. Uh, nice feature to include with the game. And it looks like the uh, beast is kind of going after him. I don't know. It's like interested in it. Maybe that's actually like his tame beast. I'm not too sure. Because there's a whole taming system. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's his beast thing. That's pretty cool. So there's a lot of creatures and stuff in the game. Lots of different animals and things like that. Some are passive, you know, being docile, and others will directly come out and try to slaughter you. So that's always an enjoyable aspect of the experience, which is kind of nice. But yeah, it's running way better than it was the other night. Uh, so you can play online. This is like the true experience. You can do PvP or PvE. Uh, PvP, compete against others and fighting. If you're in a PvE server, you're working with one another against, uh, you know, the monsters and creatures and other mysterious things that you might discover while you're playing, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, those are the options. And then you can play single player, or you can do like a local game with a couple friends uh, from the same area. You can make it a private match. 
except they crash um, on load, so we weren't actually able to play that. I tried a couple different settings, my friend tried a couple different settings, and neither of us were able to actually load into that type of match, single player or the dedicated, so that was a little disappointing. But yeah, it's, it's running way better, believe it or not, uh, right now. It's not anything special, but definitely is running better. So yeah, there's other people living and stuff, and you could like fight them if you want to, but that'd be pretty stupid because I don't have anything. And then we can see here the inventory system. If you played Ark, you should be familiar with this. You know, you got your crafting, everything like that, and you can put in uh, weapons and clothing and items and stuff like that through the crafting system, which we'll show off in a sec. And then when you level up, you go to your character stats, and you pick one, and then you get so you like pick health to increase, and then you can. Uh, well, I guess we got that. And then we go into the skill tree here, and then you can actually get skills so like we can get basics and uh, tools of the trade Ooh, wow swing underwater nice and then we get new skills and then you can have like uh, a company here create a, your own company which is like a pirate company and there's like tame groups taming matchmen you can see your discoveries and the tutorials and then there's the atlas you can see like the big ship area and everything like that it's kind of a, a neat concept for the game and it, like the big competitor being like Sea of Thieves, so you can press the uh, the back button, and the map will come out. Why is it such a delay on this? And then you can see like your map, and you can see where you're heading and stuff, which is kind of nice. Lots of settings for like running stuff if they ever do get the well, they will eventually get the single player and everything running. So yeah, you go around, uh, you collect in I don't know like sandstone like this, and then you go to like the tree bushes, and you can collect berries and food. It, it basically is just a reskinned arc, but with the pirate style. And while it's not running the best right now, it, it is significantly running better than it was before. Oh. I'm dehydrated. Digging moist ground with my hands. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go and get water from the ground. But you can see at the bottom we got like the two sort of options in regards to uh, what you can do and reaction wise. So that's a little dance, that's a little fun. And then a lot of it's like kind of punching and interacting, and then you get tools, and then you're able to survive. So there is quite a lot of learning involved in this game too. Uh, if you are coming from Ark, you're gonna be a little bit more aware of what you're doing, able to handle things, you know, understanding the mechanics and stuff like that, just in regards to expanding and understanding the world you live in. And then you get like hot key stuff too if you want to your inventory, partially consumable herb, oh yeah. Let's get that, or get that down there. And then you get your resources for crafting, and then you're able to craft things. There's a lot of different settings in regards to like running your inventory. You can toggle your crafting menu. See, I can make like a note. I don't think I can make a note. I don't think I have the materials for it. But then you can click it, and you can see it's like this is what I need to make this. Or I want a stone pick. I need really. Yeah, I need some wood. You know, and you got to actually collect the wood. So it's, it's kind of a interesting set of mechanics to it in regards to like exploring and kind of living out there and dealing with the creatures and stuff like that uh, but this again is running quite well compared to the last time so when we were on uh, playing last night it was just really rampant uh, screen tearing and performance issues and you know frame drops but much better now so I don't know if they updated it or what's going on but still uh, the visuals are all right I mean it's coming from like an arc style like that um, yeah it's just not running too well Ugh, my hands hurt and then I'm getting roots how exciting but yeah just like quite a lot to basically scavenge from Whoa some slow motion fighting going on there I keep accidentally opening that because you think like the back button is your inventory but it's the B button that pulls up um, you know your inventory items which is 
totally kind of weird. And you can toggle that up and down if you want to do, you know, to kind of highlight that. Flint fiber stones, nice. Need to get some wood. And then different tools make it so you can collect uh, different resources. Oh, yeah, let's pa punch the cactus right on. But there are, like, there's a lot going on in this. Sorry, I keep pulling that up because I'm just so used to that. In regards to, like, the skill trees, just, like, what sort of things you can unlock as you go through it. You know, you get to build different things. There's survivalism skill tree. And then there's, like, you know, all kinds of silly things, seamanship, medicine, melee weapons, hand to hand combat, beast mastery, and they just basically allow you to get, you know, to be able to build more things, create more stuff, and survive more efficiently out there. I spawned on the island here. I guess I got killed by a cobra while I was spawning in, so that's a little bit funny. Yeah, I think that was the cobra that killed me. Ooh, looks like they got a, a big gate up. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you can build all kinds of weird stuff in this, if you're intense. And you can lock doors and stuff too, if you don't want bad people getting into your areas. Maybe we will swim there. And then again, like the fully sort of like ocean that you can swim into and see creatures, but you can't swim in forever or else you're going to run out of uh, oxygen. That's just part of living. You know, you need oxygen. Whoop! <laughs> That's funny. So definitely a, a work in progress. That's for sure. And I think this is going to be uh, something that is enjoyable for a particular group of people. You know, they like these survival type games. It does offer a lot to do within it. As you're collecting resources, trying to survive, living out there, dealing with these cool creatures. Yeah, you actually got a whole lot of, there's taming methods to everything. That's why we play, like, uh, we don't do these, like, online type things when we play ARC. We usually just do a uh, local match, because then you can make it a little bit easier and you can just have more fun. Because a lot of the game is, like, kind of micromanaging your survival, the survival of the things you tame, and then, like, dealing with other people, too, because other people are out to, like, kill you and stuff. But at the same time, it's like that's where you get a lot of your gameplay opportunities, is the fact that you're sitting there. And, uh, you know, you've got to, like, go around and try to survive other people attacking you. <laughs> Hello there, majestic ostrich. Oh, does this actually have an inventory keep in this? Oh, no way! That's sick. Hmm. Must be a setting? That's cool. Let's go collect some resources. We actually get some crafting going on here. <laughs> I, I love the exiting the water in this where it's like this big like fly up going on it's kind of ridiculous first it's too cold or too warm now it's too cold jeez but you get to see some really cool things that people have made and while this has just newly been available for xbox players to jump on you gotta keep in mind you know the whole crossplay thing that uh, some pc players have really been uh, kind of rocking this for a while i think at this point, I think it's been like a year almost, not even just under a year. So apparently, there's something like 700 individual land, moss, land masses across like 45,000 square kilometers. Different regions, different things to do, different skill trees. So yeah, they've been they've been working away at this one, making it the ultimate pirate adventure. But it also should kind of know what you're gonna get into in this one. And it was cooler the other night that there's all these like pirate ships docked, and I haven't really seen people with too many docked pirate ships. Is that a, is a cobra coming at me? That's not good. Leave me alone, cobra. I don't want to deal with you. You're too high of level and too cool for me. Uh. But you get to see some really distinct things too, just from like what people have actually been getting out there and crafting you know, like nice little houses, nice little hutches and stuff. Well, we actually need wood. That's not good. Come on, show me the spear thing. Yeah, we need a lot of that stuff. I don't want roots, I need wood. Seriously. Might be a different tree that we're looking for. 
Or it might be a different mechanic, too. You never know. Things change. Oh, is there somebody just sleeping here? And you can kill other people like I'm going to here. And creatures. There's lots of creatures, too. What was that? I thought I got hit by something. <laughs> what was that? That was that was hilarious. This is like doing a big like. Oh wow! What is that thing? Is that a manta? That's so cool. Look at manta ray. And I think I maybe saw a pirate ship over yonder. Yeah, that looks like a pirate ship. Just to give you an idea of the pirate opportunities. And you can swim out of here. You can attack or something. Oh look, it's a friendly manta. That's not really actually a friendly thing in the game. <laughs> fly up on the beach. That is absolutely hilarious. But I always like I thought that they were gonna do something a little bit more I don't know, unique in this one. Like I actually had a discussion with someone and I was like, there's no way that they just like reskinned Ark, but no, that's legit what this is, which is interesting. Not being negative, I'm just, you know kind of making the comparison there because it's easy to do so. Age wood. Nice. Well, aged wood. Sorry. That does hurt you, by the way. Yay, we're crafting. So now we actually got some sort of material that we can use to defend ourselves. against ants. Giant ants. <laughs> At least the health bar is a little bit better than I remember. So you actually gotta watch your health too. I think I got a broken bone. And my health is uh, low there. You can see that in the bottom right, like your food meters, your energy, everything like that. Oh, and there's like cool little ragdoll effects. Oh, I got killed by a level 10 ant. That's uh... And now we actually get a bit of a snowy area with a character that doesn't look anything like the one that I had in the pre-made template, but whatever. We'll just roll with it. And I'll just give you another idea of like a different type of location that you can actually come across on your piratey adventures. Remember, if you had a boat, you could kind of sail anywhere. You can actually work towards getting a boat out there. So, the, again, it comes down to like time investment and how long you actually want to spend working on this, building things, exploring, uh, you know, reaching new locations, increasing the skill tree, and interacting. Would really nice be nice to have that single player, as I mentioned. It's just kind of, you know, slightly a little bit more difficult to get into something when you don't have the full range of options that are present in a game that's very much the same as the. Uh, the other version of this particular title, which is interesting. Yeah, this one's got a nice little frozen valley style to it. Isn't that right, horse? Nay, indeed. I don't know, there's, there's quite a lot to it. You've probably just seen me running around and not as much building stuff. Just kind of showing off really where you can go with this one, what you can see creature-wise. That you can actually build some neat houses and docks and boats and get out there and be up pirate if you work towards it otherwise it's kind of like yeah time consuming oh, that's a seagull down you go seagull oh wow i think the seagull's kind of maybe mad no it's flying away yeah you better fly away look at the giant cats over there oh look there's a giant bear that's exciting oh hello there mr bear you can tame the beer or the beer ha ah. <laughs> You can tame the bear. Anyways, you can tame the bear. That's kind of interesting. You know, like a big tusk guy. So that's kind of cool. And you can fight them. You know, if you want to. But you should probably have, like, better tools. Uh, better options. Did the seagull come back to help join into the fight? Damn. And another new area with another new character. That doesn't quite look like the character I made. But Ooh. Okay, there we go. Just to give one last little glimpse of something else in the game. I'm trying to give a varied area of what you could see. But yeah, overall, better than what I played the other night. So that's kind of nice. It's not a complete waste. I'm <laughs> moving past that. Just 
it'll be really fun for a certain group of people. You know, if you have a group of buddies, I think you'll have a, a decent time with it. Hopefully, being a game preview, they're going to be able to smooth this out more over time. If you make the comparison to Ark, they never kind of really did, so maybe they'll be able to achieve that here and apply that to Ark 2, but I don't know, I just don't quite see it. Oh, there's some of that, that poor performance that uh, makes it all worth it. There we go. This is what I was kind of experiencing the other night there. It's a little bit worse, though. But it seems to be the uh, the condensed kind of animals and stuff that are present. Yeah. Screen Terran. That's just because it's like, yeah, tons of creatures in a condensed area. And possibly people, too. I think last night it was maybe more, uh, uh, I don't know, people involved in one area. Because like, what we planned on last night was like a series of violence, and they were like really, really dense and stuff like that. But this is, yeah, this is more like what I was experiencing the other night. Because I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't, well, we weren't seeing things, I guess. More pirate ships. You can actually, like, get on the boats, but you won't really be able to do much to get over there. It's neat that they took Ark and then they evolved it. Well, not evolved. <laughs> Ark, because it's survival evolved. Anyways, it's, ne it's neat they took it and then tweaked it, not evolved it into something that uh, has a different purpose and I could probably see them continuing to do that because the general core concept they have is kind of clever if you think about it you know there's like a lots of in-depth survival techniques and they kind of layer on some kind of different system to them this one being a pirate one where you can actually get out there and sail with friends or you can uh, chill around and survive on an island, build a house, do whatever you want. Kind of cool. Neat idea. And I look forward to uh, generally seeing how this game develops on the preview program. Because you got to remember, it's like... It's a bit of a work in progress, right? Because it isn't game preview. It's likely to... Ch where did that rock come from? Do you guys see that? There's like a rock there. That's weird. Is it in the water? I don't know if this is deep enough to really dive. This came out of nowhere. But, uh, yeah, that, I mean, there's lots of potential for this to get work done, maybe be a bit better. It kind of seems like it's almost like ARC survival launch style, if that makes sense. So maybe they are interested in kind of optimizing and stuff as it time goes by. There's also, like, you know, Sea of Thieves as a pirating competitor, but this is very much a, a different kind of take on that. Just so you know, there, like, there is an, another sort of piratey type option out there. But this one is... I don't want to say it's alright, but it has perhaps potential to it and stuff like that. Just the performance is a little bit... Uh, leaves a lot to be desired uh, in some areas, but in some points it actually does run kind of well and maybe look a little bit uh, piratey cinematic too or kind of nauseating depends on what you get it's gonna be a mixed bag guys so you can probably quit a few times uh, like make new characters and find an area that is actually rendering a little bit better for you so that's kind of a an option that I think is present within the game for this one